Oh yeah, they're lively. Oh God. What's up guys, Brennan Jay. Today I'm gonna be dropping in live fish and these giant fish structures. All this stuff I got on Amazon.com and we're gonna be putting it in the backyard pond today. Now, first things first, we have these two boxes of fish. I have not opened these boxes, they are sealed. They're two day shipping, but I'm not gonna lie, they have been at my house for two days. That is not by choice, they got shipped early. Don't blame me, do not blame me. Um, I did already buy fish in bags before and I ended up putting them into the Banger Podcast tank and it seemed to work out pretty well. So today we're gonna unbox these and hopefully stock them in here. I'll explain what kind of fish they are as soon as we open the bags. And right here I actually have artificial structures that are man-made, but they're made to be fish structures. You guys know in the past we've put all types of crazy stuff in here that's like tomato tree looking things. We do have real natural brush piles, but now we're gonna have unnatural brush piles and uh, maybe down the road, if we get 10,000 likes on this video, we can do a natural versus artificial fish challenge where we dive under and basically do an experiment and see which one's holding more fish, natural brush or man-made artificial brush. So 10,000 likes will make that happen. I'm not gonna lie, the pond is looking relatively healthy. We've got some like vegetation coming back in. It's spring, so all the plants are really starting to grow. The water clarity on the edges is a little muddy, but it does get greener on the outside. I don't know, it's kind of like maybe an algae bloom or something like that. I have noticed though, as we walk the banks, there used to be schools of bluegill just ripping through here, baby tilapia ripping through here. You guys know that this pond has a bunch of trophy bass and well, they eat a lot. So we do need to start a new foundation of bait in here, which is why we bought the fish from Amazon. Normally I would get them from like Shine or Sam or something, but I thought that this was pretty cool to check out what you can get delivered to your door from Amazon. So uh, <laughs> we spent quite a bit of money to make the pond better. And since we're spending a lot of money, we have to invest in the channel and companies are willing to invest in us. And that's basically how we keep the lights on, or in this case, the fountain on in the pond. Real quick, so before we get into the content, I wanna tell you about the sponsor of today's video, which is the Farmer's Dog. As you guys know, Reef joins us on all of our adventures. He lives an even more active lifestyle than I do. So he needs a diet that not only keeps him healthy, but keeps him up to speed with his day-to-day -day activities. And thanks to the Farmer's Dog for making that happen. Farmer's Dog food is made fresh and delivered right to your door. So it's super convenient and saves you the trip to the store. It's pre-portioned for your dog, so you never have to worry about over or under feeding. The benefits of a fresh diet are endless. I've seen everything from more energy, better bathroom situations, healthier weight, spike in appetite, and even a shiny coat. But even better than all those combined is the long-term health benefits that Reef is gonna see over the years of the farmer's dog diet. You already know, you already know what it is. We have the turkey recipe, we've got the chicken recipe, and we also have the beef recipe. I'll tell you, man, you can see the little carrots, you can see the broccoli in there, it's all good stuff. Load up, load up. Oh yeah, here you go, Bubba. <laughs> Did he eat a better diet than I do? <laughs> I swear to you, man. Hey, we're not done with the ad read yet, so if you could just, you can't, I mean, I'm telling you, that's how much he loves the food, that he's like, everything else stops, the world stops, it's Reeves time to eat, and then he'll get back into it. I'd say uh, he enjoyed it quite a bit. <laughs> so if you wanna invest in your best friend and give him the best life possible, make sure to click the link in the description. You can get Farmer's Dog for 50% off. So they're giving a huge discount for you guys and trust me, your little one will love it. So thanks Farmer's Dog for sponsoring today's video. Make sure to click that link, get 50% off. So I think first things first is we have to check the fish. I think that's uh, basically if the fish are not doing well in these boxes, then well, this video is, uh, it's not gonna make the internet. This is Travis's knife. I'm not cool enough to have one of these, so. <laughs> uh, drop in the comments right now what kind of fish you think are in here. I think you might be surprised. We've never actually done these. Well, I don't think we've ever stocked these. So don't cheat, don't skip ahead. Drop a comment and uh, I'll give each one of you a nice heart on your comment. Unless you comment like three years from now and then just don't expect a heart because it's really hard to, you know, if you do it pretty quick, I'll. I'll give you a little chicken heart. <laughs> All right, <laughs> check this out. We got a free, it looks like we ordered a space shuttle. Okay, we've got a, we got quite a bit going on here. What's the temp of the bag? What do you think? It's nice and cool. It's been in my house, AC, you know, 
the jig in the household. We love that cold AC. So they keep it in a space shuttle bag. Oh, look at this, Tramp. They wrote thank you on the box with a little fish. Double bags, I can tell that. There's an ice pack in the bag and live bluegill. Can you see him? Yeah, look at that. All right, sick, bro. All right, so we have fish. So I say we put some of these in now and then we'll build the structures and put the second bag, open it on the structures. So maybe it can start like establishing a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a uh, ecosystem. That's the word. I'm assuming these are wild bluegills, so they probably know how to be evasive to bass, which is important because this is a foundation. This is not food for our fish. We want these to grow and make babies and then those babies could be food. But I didn't buy, these are very expensive on Amazon. I'm pretty sure they're gonna get eaten, but uh, hopefully it will help start a foundation of bluegills bedding and making babies for our big bass. But there should be around 20 bluegill in here and uh, they're all little juveniles, but we're gonna release them on the sand. I don't know if you can see that, Travis, but there is a bass lurking right there. Should we just, just one. We'll just feed them one. The thing is, is they know now, you know? After the shiners, they're like, oh, Brandon J is back. Daddy, Daddy Jig is back. Little bluegill right here. Where'd the bass go? Three of them actually. Oh no! He got picked up. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> this, oh, this bag of bluegill right here was a hundred bucks. And now we're just feeding them. Uh, Trav, thanks for letting me use your glasses so I can see. Oh God. Did you see that one? Oh boy. Okay, you can have these back. Uh, let's, I mean, now we're, now we're just gonna be losing a hundred bucks in bluegill, but some will survive. Some will survive. Woo! Go home, brothers. Uh-oh, we got one man down. But look at these little guys. I know you guys have been in a bag in a box for days. There you go, look at them. All right, just stay over here nice and safe. One guy didn't make it. We'll toss him out there to the old bass. What is good is these guys right now are just sitting on the sandy bottom. They're not moving too much, so I don't think the bass are gonna come up and crush them. With the other bag though, if they're doing this, that'll be good. We'll drop the structures down. That'll kind of scare the fish out because there's a lot of commotion. Then we'll open a bag. They'll literally go straight down to the bottom onto the structure and then maybe that will establish that structure. So this could be perfect. I mean, look at them, they're right here. They're gonna be fine, they're not dead, I promise you. Oh, one guy's going berserk. He's going berserk over there. But even this guy right here, can you see him, Trav? They're just chilling. Like, they're not dead. They're just kind of like getting their composure together. All these guys. So, but I actually, I actually really like this guy. He's pretty pale. <laughs> Let's put, oh! I was gonna put them in the lily pad, give them a little better chance. All right, let's move on to the structures, huh? Next up, little fish structures, full transparency. I think these were like a hundred something. And I think the, uh, I think the actual fish bags were around a hundred something as well. Look at the way they ship that, dude. It's like they reinforced the sides of the box. Whoever made this was very smart. Um, the good thing is we did not bring any tools. Cause I didn't think it needed any tools and I think I was right, but I also don't know how it's supposed to stay together. It's gonna be a long day. <laughs> no wonder you don't need a tool, bro. That thing ain't coming out of here. It does kind of look like a freaking rocket launcher, doesn't it? One of those electric wheel things, you know what I'm talking about? Jackhammer. All right, I made my very first sea urchin. It is completely completed and it's pretty heavy, so I'm hoping it sinks. But there's definitely like tie downs for weights. So it has me worried, or maybe that's to keep it like, oh my God, Travis, what if it legitimately does float and you need a weight so it keeps it vertical or it wants to float so that keeps it vertical and you have a weight hanging from the bottom. We should have read the directions. There's different options here. So widespread for maximum coverage. 
slide them all the way through little sides love this one lay it down on the side and then have really long on one side little on the other side and then regular is what we did it's regular i mean you always got to have one regular so we got the regular what do you think snake bed or, or widespread I, I like the snake bed i think i like that <laughs> Here we go. Okay, got both fish structures completed finally. This is the traditional one. You guys saw this one. This is before I even read instructions. And then I read instructions and decided to do this snake bed one, which is all long on one side, short on the other side. To give it a di I don't know but this is what it turned out like and it it just kind of just kind of looks like I did it wrong honestly I mean it's definitely much longer on one side but what do you think Trav no. you don't like it huh I know it's just awkward and it's much it feels like much bigger this way as far as like you know I don't know how to explain it. I, I don't like it though. I think we put it back regular. Yeah, regular. Yeah. Okay. It's like walking with a porcupine. Oh, hello. Got the paddleboard pumped up. Got the big spiky boys. They're literally like a freshwater sea urchin. Um, we've got one bag of fish and we've got bass absolutely terrorizing the bluegill up and down the bank. However, <clears throat> if you guys have watched the previous video and if you haven't, I suggest you watch it. We put the natural structures over there. Bunch of big wooden piles sunken down with uh, center blocks. And I didn't see anything about the fact that I have to sink these with weight on the instructions. So I'm hoping I can just drop them in and then go down. There's only one way to find out and that's go do it. Uh, but basically this thing is a big bowl right here. This area right here is a big bowl. That area is super shallow. There's where the natural wood is. Over here is where I think we drop the artificial. I think for right now we're probably just going to do one at a time. Drop this one in, see if it sinks, and then we'll load up the second one and the bag of fish. Remember I have the bag of fish so I can't have two big spiky urchins and a bag of fish because something bad will happen. Inevitably it will anyway. So we'll drop one, we'll drive the other one over, try to drop it in the same location, and then open up the bag of fish and then let them just go down and they will find the structure. I think that's the strap. Oh, look at him turn hard on that. Saw that? They're hungry though. If they're moving like that, Sam's fish move like that because he feeds them all the time. I don't feed mine all the time. So maybe this bluegill thing is really going to pay off. And if you couldn't tell what was going on there, it's a bass freaking spinning after a stick I'm throwing in there. Oh god. If Tris was here, he would just sit on this for me. We got the uh, fountain there. I honestly think this is fine, huh? Alright, let's do it. Oh! Spiky guy down. Spiky guy down. That's sick. That sunk good. It sunk fast. That's great. I think this is the spot. Gosh, this looks crazy on camera. I think this is the same spot right by the fountain. Either way, if they're close enough. Oh, no. Can I see it? No, I can't. I thought I could see it in the water. All right. See you later, brother cousin. Let's go off this side. Gone. Dude. That is actually epic. It just disappears so fast. Two for two. I can barely see the top of it, so when I paddle over here with the fish, I'll drop it right there. So that's good. We have not checked these either. Again, it's supposed to be 20. Oh! 
construction. Oh yeah, they're lively. I want to know what they're putting, like what kind of solution they're putting these guys in because that's four days in a bag at least. They ship for two days and then sat for two days. Again, not my fault. As soon as I got them, I thought I was going to video, but did not know they got delivered. So they're fine. That's all that matters. It does smell a little fishy in these boxes. I'm not going to lie to you. Look at that. Oh, they keep running. This is a lively group. These are moving way more than the last ones. What's up with that? Maybe the first one was a dud. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take this bag. I'm gonna take it just like this. And uh, I actually can see the top rim of our last structure. I think maybe the structures hit on top of each other. So that's why I can see the top of it, which is absolutely perfect. Still like three foot in the water, but for some reason the viz is actually better deeper than shallow. Kind of weird. Um, but we will drop these babies in there. They'll go down to the bottom. Hopefully live a wonderful life, make babies, and feed our bass. Here's all our little guys. You can actually see them really good in the bag up here. And our structure, there's one of them right there, one of the spikes. So once I open this up, I'll back up a little bit. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see it, but there's a little white ring like right there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but that is one of the structures. So we're on top of it. All right, little babies, it is time. Look at them going. You got any left in the bag? That's all of them. All right there, headed straight down. And again, there's that like white circle, which is the bass structure, baby, we did it. We have habitated baby bluegill here on the pond in the artificial structure, Amazon structure, Amazon fish. I actually could get those fish delivered to my door every month, which is pretty funny. I know it sounds like a brand deal, it's totally not, but I did think that was funny. Let's, uh, while we're out here though, let's look at the uh, old natural structure we put in like, gosh, a few weeks ago now. A little piece of the weed is stuck on some of the branches. So we got one and two right there. And now we got three and four on the other side. That's perfect. And then we got lilies here and a drop. This pond is like absolutely fired up, dude. It's doing so good right now. We're coming back, pond 2.0. It's in full effect, baby. Mission success. Mission success, which is super good. We got everything dialed. Uh, both brush piles look really good. Well, brush pile and then artificial pile look really good. Bluegill in the second bag were so lively, and I'm glad those are the ones that went on the structure. All right, guys, well, that is gonna wrap it up for today's video. I hope you liked the Amazon fish and Amazon structures. If you guys wanna see us buy more stuff on Amazon to put in the pond, leave some suggestions in the comment section below. And uh, I know that there's like bass and also different stuff. So if you guys wanna see bass get introduced into the pond, they're just little babies. I didn't buy those because I think they might get eaten. But if you do wanna see that, I'll be sure to do it for you guys. I create content that you guys wanna watch. So just gotta let me know what you wanna see down in the comment section. With that being said, that is gonna wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks to The Farmer's Dog for sponsoring today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll catch you on the next adventure where who knows what I bought for the pond or where I'm going or what I'm doing. I don't even know yet, but we'll figure it out on the next video. Peace out, love you all.